Hello everyone, welcome back or to my channel. My name is Jen and thank you so much for pressing on today's video. So we're back with another Better Minecraft and I know I've been missing, I've been slacking. Um, what can I say? I've been feeling a little bit of a burned out, a burnout for Minecraft because I've been streaming in a little bit. So it's just been, it's, it's a lot, but um, I'm slowly making my way back. So that's... This video is going to be a little short, I apologize in advance, but I'm slowly making my way back or getting into the groove of things. Um, but I do have like other Minecraft mod packs that I do want to play and I will be streaming more Minecraft because I've been invited um, to be a part of something super fun, but more on that a little bit later. But yeah, so I do apologize in advance, this video is going to be pretty short, but before we get into today's, um, you know, let's play i do want to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of a footage that i got while um or i filmed while i was playing off camera a little bit just trying to dig and stuff and you would not believe what i found so let's go ahead and roll that clip so guys i was just mining you know as i normally do and um look what i ran into i don't know what these are but there's a room over there there's some weird flowery things over there and then there's this big thing there so this is um uh, <laughs> this is this is something else i'm letting you guys know this now if i die i will cry i think that's a mind chef that way we can go towards the mind chef who just hit me? Oh. Spawner. Huh, okay. We should probably get rid of the spawner first, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, never mind. It's a zombie spawner. Bro, oh, give me up. All right, we're in here. Let me just light up this place because I didn't want to die. Okay. Well, since I'm already here, I'm going to go ahead and grab the stuff that I need and then try to smelt our goods here too while I'm here. What is this? I don't need that. Now that we're done with that, this is going to be the tricky part. I have no idea what the heck that is on the map, and I'm here to say the least, a little, a little confuzzled because I don't know what that is. What is this in here? Should I be concerned? I think this is just, yeah, it's like a little cave area that I went into. Okay. Yeah, um, I'm not sure what it is. I want to be on the safe side and not go so close to the thing. I don't even know what's the front and what's the back. Ow. Okay. Well, I'd like to be safe. And... My boots broke, so I mean my pants broke, so that's always fun. And I didn't bring any pants with me, so we're gonna have to take the. We're gonna go the safe route. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. We have here some arrows, arrow of leaping. I'm not quite sure I want to use that on people, but soul reaper grants one additional soul per kill for every level of enchantment. 
I don't really know what that means. Channeling allows the trident to summon lightning bolts. Oh, okay. Well, I don't need those either, but I'll take them. Thank you. <gasps> what the heck? What is this? Pick a bone to pick. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good. I don't like anything about this. Okay. A barrel. Unbreaking flame. Oh, I do like flame. I might want to put those two together. Here, let's take everything out of here because when we break this, that's going to be annoying. Oh my god, that scared me. this looting fire aspect okay I kind of want fire aspect to be put into my sword can I do that let's go let's merge these two together oh I need okay okay I understand now I can easily do that And this goes deeper. I'm going to close that off for now. Because I don't want to go down there yet. I want to explore whatever's up here first. And foremost. Exactly. Piercing. Smite. Gold. I'll take these thank you very much let me eat really quickly thank you and then oh there's a bridge that goes over there okay this is this is a very interesting place all right let's try to here let's block this off because i don't need it let's I have a little a little thing here. Hello. What do you have for me? Nothing. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You can move now. You can get out. Whoa, look at all this. Okay, let me go ahead and block this off because I absolutely do not want. Oh, there's two of them. Do you guys not hit each other? Hello? Yes! Hit each other! Yes! Hit each other! Yes! Hit each other! Woohoo! And then this one is the only one with a room that's closed off. Which is absolutely nothing in here. Okay, so I think this is everything? If I'm correct, this should be everything. Yes, okay. So this is literally everything. This place is like, it's interesting. I, it did give me a lot more loot than I was expecting. So there's that. And now we're going to head on over to this little weird garden thing. And if it's a boss, I'm done. Oh, no. Guys. What the heck was that? No, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're leaving. I'm stuck. We're leaving. We're leaving. That one diamond, I'm sorry. It's over. You're you're gone. We're done. We're not doing this today. Oof. 
and we're done. You're telling me this void blossom weeb is inside. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break that, close that real quick. Okay, okay, okay. We're done, we're done, we're done. I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> and we're never gonna, we're, we're not gonna explore that ever again, okay? Okay. So I wanted to get started and show you guys this little um, area that I built. I had to destroy my little pot plant uh, over here. Uh, I was going to put a doorway to lead into our little... Um, uh enchanting room over there but i wanted this place to be for now of course for now a brewing room or brewing station i guess if you will and i just yeah i'm just it looks really crappy but also looks really cozy so i might have to break this door here and lead it somewhere i, I don't know we'll have to figure out our the way or a way back also a uh, tag is right here i'm gonna put him down um, but yeah, so this is kind of the situation here. I haven't started brewing anything yet because I'm really bad at brewing. So I'm gonna have to figure that out in a little bit. But let's go ahead and try to tackle on our town square because I want to at least try to get this place done. But then in, in order to get this place done, we need to move these animals. And this is going to be a big build that I'm not ready for mentally, of course. So, uh, it's going to be a big build, I'm not going to lie to you, to store all of these animals in. And then here, this is going to be our bee house. We don't even have bees yet. Uh, I don't know what to do. But we're going to have to tackle it somehow, so I'm just going to attempt to build this barn, so pray for me. So let me tell you, I was stressed to the max trying to figure out what I wanted to do with this um, barn. I originally didn't want to build a barn, like, necessarily today, but I, well, in order to build my town square, I needed to get rid of the animals, and I figured might as well just build this barn, and I, I was not mentally prepared to, um, build anything big and extravagant but this was actually pretty big like i mean it it could have been bigger but i like the way i like the size that it is now so i spent a long time gathering um researching and just finding inspiration for this build and i saw a couple of people's like builds but a lot of barns are just like indoors like it's like a huge like building and then like inside is just pins a lot of the time it's just pins and i was like if i'm gonna build a big building just for it to have pins i might as well just build a lavish pin you know what i mean like why would i spend the time and the headache of building an intricate building when i one did not have the mentality to do it and two did not have the resource to do it either so i was like you know what pens are the best idea and i love naturey theme like i love cottage core theme anyways and i just could not find a cottage core barn you know what i mean so i mean there are some out there i just couldn't find any like you know i just couldn't find anything that spoke to me the way that a pen spoke to me if that made any sense but um yeah so i found some inspiration when it came to fencings and i just went ham and then i also found um inspiration for pins and i was like per like it looks so cute right so i might as well do that but then i wanted to play like instead of just leaving everything flat and just like like leaves everywhere i wanted to play with tears and i thought having like split level like tears would be so cool because i don't have split leveling yet on my little island so I figured, you know, why not? Why not just throw a little bit of that in there? And it was really fun. It required a lot of dirt and cobble, but you know what? I spent a lot of time digging off camera, so I had I had the the stuff to do it. Um I will say I 
enjoyed building this a lot more than I did. I wish I made it a little bit bigger because in the middle, the empty middle spot, I wanted to add like maybe a fountain, but then a fountain would have been too much, you know what I mean? So I just wanted to add something small there, like a little butcher table, if you will. Um, but that's maybe a little too dark for my cottage core theme. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Although after filming the outro, I had to go back in and fix up the back tier a little bit. You'll see when I start to finish that um, it's a little low because I didn't know that when you step next to a wall, like if two walls are on top of each other and you step next to a wall, you kind of float up, like you kind of glitch up a little bit. You know what I mean? Um, and when you have a lot of animals, they'll like glitch up and then they'll stack on top of each other and then the one that's all the way at the top will in eventually fall out. So that's what I had to deal with. I fixed it. A lot of my animals escaped, but I got them back. Um, well, most of them back. I had to kill some of them, but that's okay. Don't worry about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I struggled the most probably with the roofing of this because I wanted like you know most of the animals to be outdoors but also protect the ones on the indoors and then i'm also playing around with um different textures too for this build so that part was kind of fun but overall i really enjoyed this build i just turned on some relaxing music and you know went crazy and maybe i went a little too crazy but i enjoyed that um let me know you guys what do you guys think about this build? It's my first time building something to this extent. Uh, I I think I like it better than an indoor barn. You know what I mean? Um, when winter comes, uh, it's not a realistic game, so I didn't really care. But you know what I mean? Like I just thought it looks so much cuter. And of course, with landscaping, I like to do landscaping off camera. You know, turn on some music, maybe like listen to a podcast or watch a video or a streamer or whatever, and just go with the flow, see what I like. And I like doing that. I don't like to do landscaping on camera because that would be just hours of footage and no talking because I can't multitask like that like landscaping it's just something i have to do off camera so the next time you see this barn it might be a little upgraded on the outskirts of it landscaping wise and then maybe in the next episode i'll get started with the um the town square now that i've finally moved all the darn animals out the way so i'm super excited about that but let me know what you guys think about this build down below it's so cute now that i now that I'm sitting here and doing this voiceover and looking at it, it's actually really cute. Like, I really like it. But let me know what you guys think down below. Alright guys, so this is it. This is the finished product. I really love it. It's so cute. Um, It's pretty open, which I really like because I want my animals to breathe and not feel suffocated. And I don't really know where I'm going to put each animal. I think here might be the pigs. And then we might have like maybe... Or should this be... See, like, I'm confused. I know these two down here. I want to save them for my horses. And then this could be cows and then sheeps. My chicken might go down here. And then for when I get rabbits or maybe some other animals, I'm not sure. We might put them here. So let me close this off for now. But I'm going to go ahead and transfer some of my animals over. And I'm going to do that off camera. And yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started on that. So we finished um, transferring all of my animals, except for the ducks. The ducks don't follow you with the seed, so that's kind of sad, but I'm okay with that. I did, this is so loud here. I did get some hay barrels. I'm gonna put these out here, because I think that would look kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. And that's all I have, okay. Well, I only have one egg, 
So I'm gonna put an incubator. Now I'm not sure how this would work. Okay, I'm hoping that that hatches. I think. Will that hatch? We'll have to wait and see. I'm gonna put these duck eggs, eggs in here for now. So now that we have finished the barn, we can actually get that out of here. Yay. And look! Now we only have a couple of- oh wait, no, we actually built a mob spawner, so we don't need that either. Well, 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 look at that! I really want to start playing with the bees, but I don't have silk touch yet, so I'm gonna have to work on that off camera. But look how cute! I even spawned in some ducks with their little duck egg. I only have three, so that's a little sad. This thing- like, can you hurry? Hello? How long does it take? This is going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much to everyone who have been watching. I will be back next week with a longer episode, hopefully, and um, probably some more adventuring. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe to all that jazz, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!